Hey everybody, Jason here. Welcome to my Knot channel. In this video, we're gonna have a look at the common end whipping. In my opinion, this is one of the easiest types of whipping to learn and to tie. So with the common whipping, I've laid a small bite down on my rope with the tail end and working ends pointing away from the end of my rope. From there, I begin to make wraps around the bite with my micro cord back towards the terminal end of the rope and overlapping the bite of cord as I go. There are other ways to add end whipping to protect the end of a rope from fraying. And if you'd like to see some others, then I'd recommend my video, Five Types of Whipping Knots. Link in the description and also at the end of this video. With all whipping, it's important that you make your wraps at least as wide as the width of your main rope. One and a half times the width or more is even better. As you near the end, pass your working end of whipping cord through its loop. Then pull the other tail end, that is, the line running under your wraps. Pull it tight to cinch up and hold the opposite end. If you want, you can pull it slightly below a few of the wraps but you really don't need to. As long as it's tight, it should hold just fine. From there, you can trim away any extra cord, any messy rope that might be at the end of your main line. And if you're using a synthetic rope, you can melt the end a little bit to tidy it up a bit more. And that's the common end whipping finished. Here's a link to my video on five different ways to add whipping to the end of a rope. I hope you check it out and thanks for watching.